We all are aware that exercising is beneficial to us, and it is safe to say that all of us want to be healthy as well. At the same time, I believe it is just as safe to say that most of us are not exercising enough. This presents a problem. In 2007, the government commissioned foresight report predicted that if no action was taken, 60% of men, 50% of women, and 25% of children would be obese by 2050. The scary part is that actual figures are rising ahead of the forecast rate. When I first read this statistic, it was so staggering that it actually motivated me to engage in physical activity on a regular basis. Now, I make it a point to engage in some form of physical activity at least three times a week, despite my busy schedule. You should do so as well. As individuals living in a society where health is becoming a major concern, you should take control of your health and start engaging in regular physical activity. In this speech, I will explain to you why you should become more active by presenting the advantages of exercising on a regular basis. I will also present the disadvantages of not exercising as well. Lastly, I will uncover some powerful information that will hopefully influence you to become a regular exerciser. Did you know that it is estimated that overall, physical inactivity caused more than 5.3 million of the 57 million deaths that occurred worldwide in 2008? That's a staggering number. Exercise is absolutely essential and lack of regular physical activity does in fact impact our health. Lack of exercise and unhealthy living has been linked to a greater risk of life-threatening illnesses such as cancer, heart disease, and stroke. That may, that may be an obvious statistic for some, but many are truly unaware. Lack of exercise has also been linked to muscle atrophy, which is the medical term that describes the process of your muscles breaking down or wasting away. When your muscles aren't exerted, you begin to lose precious muscle and gain significant amounts of fat. When you fail to engage in regular activity, the heart, which is a muscle, begins to rapidly decline and your cardiovascular fitness does so as well. This is very scary considering all the functions the heart has to do to keep us alive. In 2006, it was estimated that 2.6 million Americans died from heart-related illnesses. This statistic has probably increased significantly since then. Lack of exercise leads to increased visceral fat. Visceral fat is fat that develops around the abdominal area. This particular type of fat is highly dangerous because it secretes specific hormones that can directly cause cancer. Now that you are aware of some of the scary disadvantages of not exercising, I'll switch towards a lighter topic and describe some of the advantages of regular exercise. Those who engage in regular exercise will experience immense health benefits. These health benefits range from improved heart functioning to greater mental abilities. Since the physical benefits are relatively well known, I will cover some of the mental abilities exercise impacts. According to an article published by William J. Strawbridge, those who exercise have a lower incidence of depression. This may be because exercise appears to stimulate the growth of neurons in certain brain regions damaged by depression. A 2010 study revealed that three sessions of yoga per week boosted participants' levels of the brain chemical GABA, which is mainly responsible for improved mood and decreased anxiety. Exercise has also been shown to reverse the detrimental effects caused by stress by increasing levels of soothing neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. What's fascinating is that a 2010 study conducted by the University of California, San Francisco found that stressed out women who exercised vigorously for an average of 45 minutes over a three-day period had cells that showed fewer signs of aging compared to women who were stressed and inactive. Lastly, exercise can and will improve your ability to learn. Regular exercise increases the levels of certain brain chemicals called growth factors. These particular chemicals help make new brain cells and establish new connections between brain cells to help us learn. Like muscles, you have to stress your brain cells to get them to grow. Now that you know a few of the advantages and disadvantages of exercise, here's why you should incorporate exercise into your daily routine. Exercising regularly is simply enjoyable and can allow you to develop a better relationship with yourself and others. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want that? 
Exercising is a great way to meet new people and experience new things. Whether you're at the gym, climbing a rock wall, or hiking in the hills, you're bound to meet individuals who share the same interests as you. It's also a great way to develop a better understanding of what interests you and what doesn't, as well as understanding your strengths and weaknesses as a human being. Since exercise has been linked to increased self-esteem, it's no wonder that those who exercise have a lot more confidence and appear happier. For those of you in relationships, exercise can and will help your relationship between you and your spouse in several ways. Here's how. Exercise gets a couple away from the mundane everyday lifestyle and into a whole new world of relating. Physical activities would involve both parties working to build trust in each other to help each other achieve fitness goals together. So overall, exercising is just a great hobby to incorporate into your daily life. I've explained to you the extraordinary benefits of exercising both physically and mentally, and I've also examined the disadvantages as well. I've even explained to you how exercising can improve and benefit you socially. As individuals living in a society where health is a major concern, you should take charge of your health and start engaging in regular physical activity. Despite how busy your schedule may be, there's always enough time to fit exercise into it. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. You can either go another day of depriving your body of much wanted exercise, or you can get out and experience the wonderful benefits exercise